So I, so I guess it would be stating the obvious to say that FPGAs are a really, really important target for graphical system design. And we think they're, we found from your applications that they're really valuable for creating very high performance, very reliable automated test and control systems. The PXI platform is especially important for these for its high power and high performance capabilities. Now, we're also at the same time branching out into other application and measurement areas. Especially we're growing into low power distributed wireless sensing nodes. You saw yesterday the announcement of our new wireless sensor network or WSN nodes. Now I believe in, that, in the keynote yesterday there was some question about would it be possible to run some LabVIEW code on our new WSN nodes. And so we decided this morning to bring out a couple of guys that can tell you what actually might be possible. So please welcome Jeff Kellum and Robert Jackson. Okay, so Jeff, tell us, is it possible to run LabVIEW on our new WSN nodes? Yes, in fact, uh, with our new LabVIEW uh, WSN Pioneer module, you're able to put a small amount of LabVIEW code down onto the surprise, nodes. Surprise, surprise. I know, hard to believe. <laughs> right. um, with that uh, code, what you're able to do is you can perform some custom analysis, you can interface to various kinds of custom sensors, you'll be able to do decision making to decide whether or not data is interesting, and based on that decision, you can then decide whether or not you want to transfer that data across the air. By not transferring the data across the air, you can uh, extend your battery life a lot. Okay, well, those seem like really obvious types of calculations that you might want to write LabVIEW programs to do. So give us an example of maybe an application where you do these type of things. Sure. Um, well, at our National uh, Instruments headquarters, we have a water retention pond, and the city of Austin requires that we take certain measurements uh, to make sure we're in compliance with environmental laws. Uh, what we do today is we take those measurements by hand. In fact, you can see a guy in the picture uh, taking those measurements. Okay, let me make sure we understand. So National Instruments, one of the world's leading supplier of automated measurement technologies, we have somebody go out and manually make measurements on our retention <laughs> pond on our property? <laughs> that's, oh, that's what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Mike. Well, um, as, as you can see, uh, we have a road that's right by the retention pond. If we want to run wires, We'd have to tear that road up. That'd be very expensive. And uh, it also would prevent us from getting in and out of work, which would be a big minus. Right. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to wire it up wirelessly and use our WSN nodes, do a little custom programming on them, and send that data back. Oh. So great use of our own products. What types of measurements do we have to make on our pond? Uh, well, we're taking two measurements in particular. One is dissolved oxygen value, and the other is water level. So in this VI, you can see in the upper portion, what we're doing is we're taking the voltage from the uh, sensor, and we're converting that into dissolved oxygen using just a linear fit. What we did is we calibrated that sensor a priori, so we knew how to do that conversion. In the lower portion of the diagram, what we're doing is we're taking the water level. Now, as you might imagine, if you have a road going by a pond, uh, you can get some waves in the, in the water. So we're, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three measurements and we'll average them out to try to filter some of that noise. Well, those, those look like pretty common, simple types of calculations. Why don't we just build these into the node? Well, we could, but there's so many different kinds of sensors out there, we'd never be able to support them all. By providing uh, LabVIEW WSN, we allow our customers to program for whatever sensor they want to use and be able to use that custom sensor. Okay, that makes sense. So, so how do we actually look at the data that we're collecting from the pond? Well, we built a LabVIEW application for that. And here you can see the water level that Jeff was referring to. And we can also see the dissolved oxygen that was calculated in the top. So Robert, is this application able to read the data live coming from the pond? Yes, we're getting data from about an hour ago and then over the last several weeks as well. Cool, so how are we actually getting the data from the wireless sensors at the pond here to the convention center so we can monitor it? We've got wireless sensors at the pond and those are communicating wirelessly about 200 meters to the roof of our R&D center. There we've got a compact Rio system as well as a weather station. We're sending those data services actually into a database and then using web services to actually read those using the same LabVIEW application that I just showed you. We also have a weather station connected to Comeback Rio, and so as you can actually see, I can get data from the weather station as well, such as wind speed and wind direction, and then also the outside temperature. It's a little bit warmer than here right now. Yeah, well that's pretty cool. So actually, so the Compact Rio that's on the roof of our building when it collects the data from the sensors, then it's using, you said, web services to pump the data into our corporate database. And then this LabVIEW application is also using web services to pull it out and display it on the display. 
Yeah, an additional advantage of using web services is we can integrate third-party tools, such as Microsoft Live Earth. And you can see the water level coming here from the pond, as well as temperature on the roof of our R&D center. Oh, that's cool. OK, so, so first of all, you confirm that you can actually, with this new Pioneer module, program the nodes with some LabVIEW code. But you also showed us that you can also use LabVIEW on a CREO system to collect that data, to use web services to pump it into a corporate database, and then web services to pull it out and display it along with other really cool tools in our application. So I think that's a really great example of how you can use LabVIEW for all aspects of developing this distributed application. So thanks for the demo, guys. Thank thanks, you, Mike. Mike.